when I was a youngster, um, used to go to obviously all the, the boys' brigades, scouts, things like that, and got into football there. Played with my local youth team and, and sort of progressed through there. I was lucky enough that, you know, I'm, I made it to sort of conference standard, professional standard, and, uh, you know, it's all started obviously from, from a young from a young lad just kicking a ball around. I won the conference with Wickham Wanderers, I won the conference with Stevenage Borough as well, um, and obviously the FA Cup is. It's always a good cup to, to play in. Had a few good highlights there. Scored in the uh, third round against uh, Notts County when I was playing at Sutton. And obviously we lost out to Birmingham in the third round when I was at Stevenage as well. So, you know, the FA Cup's great. It's a, it's a lovely sort of leveller for a non-league players to, to get to first round proper and get against, you know, against the pro side. It'd be fantastic for us. So fingers crossed we can, uh, we can get through the next round. Got to a stage where obviously I was getting too old. Um, so people say I had a couple of injuries. Um, and then I thought, what am I going to do now? Do I go into the coaching side of it? Um, and decided that you know physiotherapy and personal training and things I, I started to do. So got the FA uh, basic and the FA intermediate. And um, and yeah, and speaking to Jim, he, he, you know we needed a physio at the time. And uh, I was coming to the end of my playing career, and it, it sort of tied in nicely. I joined the police force um, after I'd finished playing professionally um, in the conference and stuff. So um, it was, what am I going to do now with myself and a lot of people that I was training as a personal trainer were police officers and stuff, and uh, I thought it sounds like a, quite a good number. And yeah, I've got all the um, like the sports uh, massage and uh, all the sort of therapy and sports therapy and stuff like that. But obviously, you need the FA basic and intermediate to be able to do physio at this level. Um, I would like to do the diploma, but it, it then it's a full time qualification and obviously working as well. It's not easy to combine the two. My first job was physio. I've been doing it now for I think this is my third or fourth season. It ties in with the fact of being a police officer and you know playing for the Met Police. It keeps me involved with the lads and the banter and hopefully they respect uh, from what I've done previously in football and you know it's nice to use my experience and, and help them as well. Best thing about football. Um, so, it's hard to say, really. Having played it all my life, it's, it's just something that you, you know you're used to doing. It's it takes your your whole day. You know, it's just it's just a great game. I love playing it. Love being involved around it with the dressing room and the banter between the lads and that. It's something that you you don't get anywhere else.